The next step is to make our robot turn. Uh, to begin with, we'll just focus on a right turn, but we'll call it, we'll create a function called turn right below stop. And it's going to take one argument, which is going to be time. I'm going to use the int data type. Uh, I don't need to use an unsigned integer here because I don't envision my robot turning for more than 32 seconds. Um, and then uh, it's fairly simple. I say left servo, all right. And I'm going to say 1500 plus power. And then I'm going to do almost the exact same thing for the right servo. In fact, I am going to do the exact same thing because in order to get the wheels to turn in opposite directions, I have to add both times here instead of, as with my forward function, add on one and subtract the other. A little bit counterintuitive until you remember that the orientation of those motors is reversed. Uh, once I've done that, it's time to say delay, and I'm going to delay for the amount of time that I passed through this argument, and then I'm going to stop my robot. And it's time to employ this function down here. So I'll say turn. And I'm going to turn for just 500 milliseconds. All right, the robot turns.